I feel like for the past two weeks, you guys have kind of seen our journey on the king fishing here in Alaska on the Kenai Peninsula. And by no means have we put out a video where we absolutely put a beating on them. But I'm thinking from today and then the next three days from now, it's going to happen. And I wanna document all of it. So in the last video you guys saw, we had a couple king opportunities. I'm talking about myself and I messed them up and we ended up empty handed. Go swing your bait down the bottom hole. Oh, I'm on! Yeah, oh! Oh, God! Oh, run down, oh run God! Down, run down. Oh, my God! Run! Ah. Watch out for the rot trees! Ah. Let's go, dude! Ah. Yeah, run. Hey. Watch those trees. Go high! Yes, sir! See, I'm dead. I don't know how this fish is. Is it a wild or hatchery? I think it's a hatchery fish. Let's go, dude. No! <sighs> hey, you felt him there. <sighs> but I told you guys the next couple videos, we were gonna be back at it trying to get a king salmon for you guys. And that's what we're doing. Today, we're on a little river here. Well, pretty decent sized river. This is where Sam caught his first king salmon ever last year. And we're gonna do a little bit of flipping today, okay? We're not expecting much, maybe a couple reds if anything. I don't even think we're gonna see a king today, honestly, but maybe I could be wrong. And then in two days from now, this other river opens up for kings, which Sam and I are gonna be going hard at, where I lost that king salmon in the last video that you guys saw. And I just wanna make this all one long video of us Hopefully catching a king salmon and hopefully eating a king salmon. How are you feeling, boss? <sighs> Low expectations, but I'm just happy to be out fishing. Well said by Sam Lehman, the man, the myth, the legend. But we're gonna get some rods in the water and just sit back, grab some popcorn and enjoy. There we go, Sam. Red. Yeah. Little sockeye. Hey, why is he burning and turning? Hey, come back here. Come back here. <laughs> yeah. I think so. I got a decent look at her. Eh, not so much. I'm pretty sure it's a red, though. I think we're good right now, boys. We're on. Holy cow, I'm pretty, I'm like 70% sure it's a red. Oh, I ran the mouth though, son. Look at that. First red for me for the year, let's go. He's, he's mad though, dude. He's mad. Guys, you guys, be, if you guys come and do this, you gotta be careful because you got this big half ounce weight and you don't want the weight flying off and hitting you in the face. So always angle your rod a little bit so uh, you don't hit something. But that's cool, dude. I'm, I'm not mad about it. I told Sam, I'm like, I feel like I need a red to uh, get, all, get all situated before I catch a king, you know? Look at that. Oh, yeah, son, right in the mouth, eh, Saman? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got my first red salmon of the year. We catch a lot of these sockeyes uh, during the summer, but this is my first one of the year. Beautiful fish. We're hoping for kings, but you know, we'll take them like that. Well, 
Kings one, Mindak Bros zero. Yep, you got that right. Well, fellas, it's been, I don't know, a couple hours since that last action that you guys saw, and nothing else. Um, some gentlemen above us caught one, which was pretty cool, a nice hatchery. But other than that, Sam, haven't, Sam and I have not seen any kings rolling or anything. So we're gonna call this a night, and we're gonna go back to the house and get some sleep and get some rest, because that other river opens up in a couple days. And that's where this adventure is going to continue. And that's where we're hopefully going to catch a king for you guys. So I'll plan on seeing you guys in a couple days. Well, good morning, everybody. It's a couple days later. Like I told you, it is currently 349 in the morning. Sam and I were up at 230 in the morning and we had about an hour drive. And now we're here. We're back at the spot where in the previous video, I lost a king salmon. And uh, this place is opened up today. And I got a feeling, I got a feeling all these days that we've been putting in, today's finally the day we land a king. And I'm gonna be so happy if we do. Uh, our good buddy Jaden, he was also in the last video. He's down at the river right now and he already caught his limit and caught a bunch of other fish as well. So he said it's pretty good. So I am really hoping that today is a change of luck for us. There is about a million people here though. So that is something that kind of sucks. But other than that, not too bad. It's gonna be raining on and off today. So the filming might be a little bit eh. We're gonna have to play that by ear. I'm gonna put this bad boy away and then get the GoPros going. But I'm gonna walk down to the spot and we'll start fishing here very shortly. <laughs> yeah, John, what's up, Bobo? Nice little jack. There he goes. Good luck to release some. Okay. Let's go! But I'm just throwing a simple setup. Just throwing a bead around with a two-out hook. Yeah. I'm not sure what size this bead is, but it's not very big. I was just drifting it through that hole and right away. Nice little jack to start off the morning. It's good luck to release them, so we're hoping for a big chunky. Think so? The sardines. Is it? Oh, yeah. Hey. Nice dude. So gorgeous. Not the target though. Huh? Nope. It's sweet though. Yeah. Really? I'll take it. Really? It's action. <laughs> Looks pretty bust in here. Huh? Looks pretty bust in here. Yeah, Where's the juice? Right up in there. Right over there. You gonna use some eggs? Let's go, my poop. Said so you gonna use some eggs or? Gonna use it up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, one hundred percent fish. Oh, yeah, you beat that down there.
It's a nice one. Dude. Before this video goes any farther, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsor, High and Dry. You guys have been absolutely blowing up the comments asking what has been that waterproof bag that you've seen Sam and I walk around the wet tundra of Alaska with. And we've been using the High and Dry Tortuga backpack. So far, Sam and I have been testing it in Alaska and it's been working absolutely phenomenal. As you guys know, Alaska is very rainy, so it's nice to have a backpack that's dependable, durable, and keeps everything nice and dry. So moving on to the backpack, it comes in two different colors. It's a sand color or a green color. And this is obviously the sand color, looks mighty fine. So if you're gonna be taking it duck hunting or hunting or whatever, blend in nice, or if you want a darker pattern, you can go with the green one. Right away, we got these guys right here and uh, you can probably shove some things in there or use it for some type of grip. We got two pockets on the outside. This one has my licenses and some other knives and stuff. And then this one, I got some tackle in there, but these zippers and every zipper on here is airtight and waterproof. So no water is ever gonna leak through. On the side, we have a water bottle holder, which is nice, so you can stay hydrated. And on this side, you have some straps here so you can tie some stuff down. So if you have a jacket or a fishing pole or a gun or something, you can put it in here, zip it tight with this, and close it, and it's not going to come out. On the back side, we have two straps. We have this guy right here for extra support, which is very nice. And then on the back side, we have these extra pads. So on the longer hikes, it's not going to absolutely wear down on your back or your shoulders. I don't know how well you guys can see inside the bag, but it is a 28 liter bag. And inside here, it's big enough to put a bunch of things. I have my lunch in there. I have a tackle box and other camera gear that's gonna stay nice and dry. It has two pouches, one in the front with a zipper on it and uh, you can put a lot of goodies in there. And then there's one in the back as well that doesn't have a zipper, but it's just more of like this elastic stuff. I know you guys can't see it very well, I'm sorry, but I got some toilet paper stowed in there because you never know what's gonna happen out here. The backpack itself is made out of 1680D denier nylon, which is basically just super heavy duty and it's not gonna tear on those branches that you guys walk in the woods or in the marsh. It should be good to go there. And so far, we like it a lot. I have no bad complaints about it, and you guys will see us use this for the rest of this Alaska series, as well as into the hunting season. So again, huge shout out to High and Dry. If you guys wanna check them out, they'll be linked down below, and you can use our code MINDAC to save $25 off your order. So definitely make sure to go and check that out. And if you guys were also curious, they have more than just the Tortuga backpack. They have you know, clothes on there. They have their utility poles, which is really nice for waterfowl hunting. I'm hopefully gonna film a video with that later this fall. But again, guys, make sure to go check them out. They'll be linked down below. And with that being said, let's get back to the video. I know, it's that same one I missed. Yeah. <laughs> Not the one yeah, we are. Okay, okay. I was hoping he's gonna stay up here though. Right. He's coming up right here. You want to get them for yeah. me? Let's grab the line. Got him. Yep. Y'all let you grab that. Beautiful hatch or beautiful wild fish that Sam just caught. Unfortunately, you can't keep these, but. 
Wow, what a beauty of a fish, Sam. Right. Perfectly hooked. Perfectly hooked right in the corner of the mouth on the bead. Look at that beast. Right. What a beast of a fish. Yep. Oh, what a dude. Nice fish, oh. dude. That was dope. Nice, nice. Slayman's on fire, dude. Slayman's on fire. Let's go, Slayman. Oh, God. Mad. Mad. Oh, my God. Sam's on fire. Yeah. Sam's on a little streak here. Oh, come on. Be a hatchery, though. Right? <laughs> like, dude, that's what I'm hoping for, bro. <laughs> Sam's a beast, bro. Dude, you got that on dial right now. They want that bead, bro. <laughs> if you want me to walk them over to this, you can. Yeah, I'm just quiet enough. Alright. I don't want them to get down there and then go all the way Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. Yeah, just enjoy it. <laughs> the king's man. Enjoy it, man. Hatchery, dude. Yep. Golly, and that would be so nice right now. Let's go. Dang, boy. Hey, Slayman's a beast. Oh, you're not recording. Oh, what? Well, I'm recording at least. Let's go. Slayman got a nice barely hatchery fish. Him. Barely had it. Sam just caught one. Yeah. Dude, you're cracked as hell. Let's go, yeah. Slayman. They want that bead. Well, sorry, guys. Slayman wasn't recording on that one. But. He got a beautiful hatchery fish. If you guys are curious, I can tell if it's a hatchery fish. Um, so you see the dorsal fin right there. Behind the dorsal fin, right here, there would be a uh, an adipose fin. That would be a wild one if there was a fin. But the hatcheries, they, they clip them off. Well done. So beautiful. I think you should get in there. Yeah, I should get in there. I'll let you take care of that one. Let's go, Slayman. Dude, I could have sworn I was recording. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like right there. The bead dipped in the secret sauce. No way. Yep. No way. What? What's that? It's a reef, dude. No way. <laughs> no way, dude. Are you kidding me? No. What? That was almost this. Slayman's like three feet <laughs> No, dude. It's capping. that bead, bro. Is it coffee? I'm not capping. You're capping. No. Give me that bead. Yeah, you I shall. Don't think that's what <laughs> Because I released that jack earlier today. That's oh, why. Shoot. Dude, no way to sail. Oh, yeah. It's a hook. He's mad now. I want you to get one now.
Yeah, he is. Coming through. Uh, it's another nice one, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. No, 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 just wait, just wait, just wait. No, 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 let me get him over there. Oh, the back. Right down there. Keep them pinned. No, I got them. Okay. Keep them. Should we do it right here? Yeah. Oh, deep right here, bro. How oh, deep? Pretty deep. Yeah. Oh, no. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Hatchery. Oh, it's a Let's nice go. hatchery. Here, show the folks. Look at this. <laughs> oh, here she is. King salmon fishing. You can just switch just like that. Same block to be fishing. Like, came right out. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to bonk this thing right now. Yeah. It's your turn, buddy. Oh. Let's go, dude. Well, shall I use this rod? I might have to. This is what they want. They want that bead, bro. Right there, baby. Sam's oh, caught oh. three kings in like 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes. As soon as I can reel them in. Yeah. Here. You gotta dip it in the yeah. egg juice. Oh. Yeah, I think this broke, so I just threw that all the way up. I, it stays I, on the. It stays yeah. on this one just fine. Yeah. I have a. I have another pre-made one. I got. No. Oh. oh. Pull all the way that up. Oh! It sits on this just fine. Oh. Right, right, right. Move, move, move the switch off it. Oh. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm on. No way. No way, dude. What's going on, Sam? No way. Dude, what the heck? Sam, what, 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 what do you got me on? Oh, turning at me. Oh, the bee grind, dude. <gasps> no way, Sam. No way I just happened, bro. You got eggs or a bead, I throw that on. Uh, I got eggs up in the car. I'd go get them. Oh my gosh. This is the very next pass, dude. They're loaded <laughs> in there right now. I like that bead, buddy. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's mad, dude. Ah. Oh my gosh. No way, dude. It is an arm workout. Holy crap, Sam. They're just fired up right now. Literally, we just got Sam caught like three in a row, and then I just flipped in with the bead that Sam had, and bam, instantly smoked it. Oh, this is this is so much fun, guys. He's mad. I'm trying to just uh, wear him out right now. Keep tension, keep the rod tip low.
goodness. Have you seen what it is or no? No, I haven't. I just know my arm's tired. <laughs> <sighs> no shot, dude. What the heck, bro? I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, you got the drag like set perfect. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't call me slamming for nothing. I think I got a good enough hooking though. That hook set looked alright. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I know. I know. <laughs> I know how it goes with these things. This one's like chromed out. Okay. Dude, these kings fight so hard, fellas. So hard. <sighs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm just trying to wear them out right now. Yep, yep. Oh, my arm's so dead. Yeah. Oh, the reel's coming loose. I got it. Yep. Okay, keep my rod tip a little lower. Come on, big fella. Tire out. Tire out. Oh, oh there's a log right there, Sam. No. No. Okay, am I good? Oh, oh no. I didn't see that log. Hey, you're good. I didn't either. Hatchery. Get in there, Schleiman. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Here you go, Johnny boy. Dude, this is hey, long awaited. Perfect hook set. Perfect again. hook set. That thing was not getting out, fellas. We're gonna let's walk him back and get the, the pliers on him. Let's go, baby. Yes. Nice hack, Dude, baby. Sam and I had I told you guys, I told you I had a feeling. Me and Sam would be grinding all these days, and finally it's gonna come through. Let's get you back in Let's there. go. I gotta get back in there though. They're loaded in there right now. They love the bead. baby <laughs> is that a little heavy bud just a little bit on the two fingers there but dang bro dang. so these are the two that sam caught and this one's an absolute beast yeah, I think it's a oh yeah that thing's a beast. kegger man and then that's the son of a gun that i got and though i think the wild one bigger. that i grabbed you know for you and we let go i think that one was bigger i think it was around the same size as this one yeah I, it might have been a little bit bigger. It definitely wasn't smaller than that one, though. Right. But like, what do you what do you think about kingfishing, though? It's rewarding when you get on them, but you got to put in the work, man. Slamming and I have been sitting down here for the last, I don't know, another two hours or so, and haven't had much action. Could we sit here and probably catch one more for my limit? Yeah, probably, but I don't want to do that. I got some stuff to do today, and I'm happy with three. Like, wow, what a freaking morning. Had so much fun. These fish are no joke. 100% the hardest fighting fish that you can go after. Like, these things tear you up, man, and they are so much fun to catch. But like I said, we're going to take these bad boys home, clean them, and then my favorite part, we're going to be eating some. Yeah, it's uh, three, three kings and a red. Okay, so we're gonna separate them out. So um, we have to wear them separately. Okay. How do we get to it? I can, I can grab the. Yeah, go ahead. You guys have a guard. Yeah, right there. We did it. There she What's is. What are you guys doing? What'd you catch? So kings. We got three, three kings and a red. Six, Score? Where are yeah. you going? Like early. I, I, it's slimy. We're are doing you sure? it. Sure. 
Boom! Oh, that's this awesome. is Bailey. She's uh what's your what's your title at customs? Technically my title is boxing manager. Uh -huh. However, every single department has little fun quirks that I love. So like this stuff, you get the slimy part of it where it's like it actually comes in and smells like fish and I feel uh -huh. like I'm out on the river because I'm here processing your guys' fish. So this makes me feel like I'm fishing. Hence, she wanted the slime. But Bailey's been awesome to work with, along with Robin and Lucas, too. So they've been really yeah. cool. But had to make the stop here and uh, check out what the homies are doing today. But we got, what was the total today? It was 17.9 and 3.1, so 21. 21 pounds of fresh meat? Swear. Let's go. Man, I'll tell you what. I love coming to Custom Seafoods. Number one, because the service, as you guys saw, Bailey, she's awesome to work with and everybody else there, super nice, treats you like family. And uh, just the routine or the, the assembly line process that they have over here is so organized and makes it so easy. Literally, I just clean the fish, brought them here, and then I don't gotta worry about it. They're gonna vac seal it for me, freeze it and store it. Like, I don't have anything to worry about. And if you guys were in a pinch and needed to get home really fast, they can ship it to you whenever you need it. So. Yeah, it is freaking awesome. Um, again, if you guys want to check out Custom Seafoods, it'll be linked down below. That's where I do all of my fish processing stuff up here. And if you guys are at home and you don't think you're gonna make it up here this year, you can go on their website and buy fresh Alaskan salmon, crab, whatever you need. If you need to impress somebody with a really bougie meal, order something from here. Trust me, you won't be mad. But we're going to go back to the crib, maybe uh, dump a little bit of footage, and then we're gonna eat this king. I'm excited. Well, Sam Lehman, I'm just gonna go ahead and say you outdone yourself. I don't know, she's a little overcooked, but she'll do. What was the internal readings on her? I don't know, I just kinda winged it. Anyways, guys, Sam Lehman just chefed up this fresh salmon. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I'll try to get super close for you guys. Look at that. We got a little side of rice right there. And I decided to do a time lapse for this part because we cooked it exactly the same way we did about three episodes ago. So if you want to see a more in-depth step-by-step process, go back to that video right here and you guys can learn how we did that. But he just basically blackened it on a skillet on the oven stove there. And man... This looks good. This is going to be, I was thinking, Sam, this is going to be such a satisfying meal because not only like are we just taking our hunger out on this, it's just like I'm going to be eating this thinking about all the hard times that we had king fishing up until this day and I'm just, I'm just staying mad at him while I'm eating. That makes sense? Yep. I, I got to provide for the family. Yeah, Sam, Sam is a beast. But let's just, let's go in for a couple bites here, Slayman, and just... See what we think, man. He's you know? a fork. Oh, I won't even. I won't even do any rice with this. I'll just do straight up king salmon. Uh, yeah, you guys can see that. Oh boy. Fresh lemon. That's all I'm gonna say. I could use some fresh lemon, but no one's a big lemon guy in this house but me. Oh. My holy cannoli. Like, it's so good I have to go straight caveman on that. That you're getting kind of like a uh over overexposed shot of this piece, but it's just mm. Mm, that the kings have a little more oily texture, 
than reds or pretty much any other salmon. But, oh my gosh, I, I love that. I think it's really good. Yeah, it's good. Thank you for making dinner tonight. And thank you guys for sticking around to this point and watching us on the struggle bus from day one when we got to Alaska to this point where we put together a pretty good day of king fishing. No, we didn't get our full limit, but man, we had one heck of a time. King salmon is becoming more and more and more and more on the top of my list for favorite species to target. I mean, between the fight, the hook sets, uh, the landing, the eating, like it's all just the whole nine yards that us fishermen seek for, you know, an experience. Like that's just like the filet mignon, I feel like, of, of fishing. It's just amazing, so much fun. You have to put so much work in these fish, but if you put the work in and you guys get one, you can reap the benefits. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this style of video, drop a comment down below and let us know what you guys thought. We're here for the rest of the summer. Uh, kings are slowly gonna taper down and Sam and I are gonna have to figure out different things to do. So if you guys could give us some ideas in the comments on what we should do this entire summer, we're open to it. Whoa, <clears throat> some King Sam went down the esophagus there. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you guys on the next one. Can you do a Luke Cornier seal? The inner Luke. I gotta bring in the inner dumbness. Okay, inner Luke, inner Luke. Inner dumbness. <sighs> seal! Hey, is that right on. Luke Cornier ish? That, that was pretty Luke Cornier ish. Do, do you like eating close to your bro like this? Is that how I sound? I think in the Asian culture, it's no, like... No, that's how you sound. Yeah, the Asian culture, like, smacking your lips is like just in your blood. So, it's not my fault. Blame my ancestors. <laughs> Am I doing it? No, yeah. I wasn't even trying, bro. <laughs> Boy. Sounds like a horse chewing on some no. rocks, dog. Like... No. Mm -mm. The funny thing is, too, your mouth is closed. I know, I'm not like... It's not like you're perfect. Like, I don't know. You just do it. Hey, dude. It's just the way it is.